G'day, g'day, and welcome back to Australian Guy Films. I'm Pitbull and Art, and today we went back to have another look at Matthew Turner. She went in the water last night at about 11 o'clock, but unfortunately at the dockyard there was no lights, so we couldn't really see what was happening. So once she came off the slipway last night at about 11 o'clock, she was removed from the, uh, the braces that were holding her upright, and then she floated on her own keel, and the engines fired straight up. Once the engines were fired, they let them warm up. They, and then she made it around here to the uh, Army Corps of Engineers dock under her own steam late last night. Uh, this morning, there was a bunch of people woke up and found a brand new tall ship anchored in the middle of Sausalito that weren't expecting it to be here. So with the Matthew Turner at the dock, it's time to get her ready for sea. And the call of the sea people are trying to have her out doing sea trials this month here we have life rafts ready to go on board as we move down the dock you can see there's all the brand new mattresses for the crew over there on the cabin trunk uh, ready to be taken aboard now down here on the ground we have a whole bunch of lead um, now this lead looks like it's already come out of one sailboat keel i can see the shape of the keel there and there's a bunch of lead ingots over here. Now the reason these are here is because there's no uh, ballast in the Matthew Turner yet. The ballast will be added this month. The Coast Guard will be down here at the dock doing stability tests. That's where they'll put a whole bunch of uh, water barrels on one side and fill them up and see how far she leans over before flipping. And as long as she passes all the stability tests, um, then she'll be uh, classified for a sail training vessel. Now by the look of this there's also a brand new range ready to go in the galley. Uh, the other day when I went on board there was no real point stopping in the galley because there wasn't much there. But since she's at the dock and floating let's go aboard now and see what she looks like on the water. The Matthew Turner is usually open to the public between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. and then walking down onto the quarter deck we can find the helm and one seriously big wheel. Now I understand this wheel was reclaimed off another ship and refurbished and now it's going to be the proud helm of the Matthew Turner. And we turn right and go down the stairs and what we have here first is the galley there's not much here yet uh, but once it's here you saw the range up on the top on the dock i'm guessing that will go over here and it won't take long to have this finished up we have another unfinished space but in this space we have plenty of storage area for crew and the crew will be lined up in here in double bunks. Um, how many do we have? Two, four, six, eight. Looks like 16 people will be sleeping in this area. This will be a head and shower, I would imagine. And then we can come up into the forecastle. And up in the forecastle, we have another 12 bunks. Now as we come aft, we come back towards the engine room and those two twin 250 horsepower diesel electric generators will be powering a very large lithium ion battery bank. From the engine room we have another berth with four bunks and I believe that is the same on both sides, only this side is still a long way from finished. Now as we come up from the engine room, aft trunk house, and this will be a classroom chart house. Because the Matthew Turner is a training ship, there'll be kids coming on board for day trips, for overnight trips, and for week trips. And during these trips they'll learn some navigation, they'll learn a little bit about ast astronomy, and they'll learn how to sail an old school tall ship. So that's about it for this video. If you'd like to support the Matthew Turner 
www.callofthesea.org. And if you like this video, then support me by hitting the subscribe button and drop a comment. I will reply to all comments. Mm -hmm.